Hello and welcome. This time we're talking about different types of, of streams. Yeah. Well, there are two types of streams. Yeah. There is the laminar stream and there's the turbulent stream. Yeah. What is this about? I will show you. Yeah. Let's have a look into our tube. So again the tube. Yeah. The first layer, the first onion ring of our tube, ideal world, is almost with no velocity. The next ring is a little bit has a little bit more velocity. The next ring has more velocity. And then there's a velocity distribution over the diameter or over the area of the tube, which somehow looks like that. In the middle area of the tube, we will have the highest velocities and at the outer areas of the tube, the velocities will be less. We can think about this, that always one ring is slipping on the next ring of fluid. Yeah? The outer ring is slipping, is crushing or is sliding along the wall yeah? of, the, of the tube and then the next ring is already sliding on the outer ring and can be a little bit faster and so on. Yeah, you can think about this, of course it's continuous, yeah? but think about rings which in the, in, the, in the middle it's moving very fast. Yeah? So always to the next ring, yeah, we have some certain uh, speed gradient. Okay. If this is really looking that way, yeah, this is called laminar. It's a laminar stream. Yeah. Very convenient. Yeah. Very nice, yeah, no disturbance, yeah. water can flow, fluid can flow, let's call it fluid, I always say water, right? but in the end we're talking about oil lines, of course. Yeah. So the fluid can flow, wonderful. And now let's think what is going to happen if we accelerate this. If we accelerate this, then maybe this, this gradient of, of, of speed gradient does not look that way, it maybe looks like this. Yeah? Also in the middle, biggest, yeah? but here we have quite big gradients. Yeah? And now let's imagine I am a water molecule or a liquid molecule. Yeah? Then here are the smaller or the, here are the lesser speed ones, yeah? mm, they're holding me back, yeah, because I'm, I have to overtake them, yeah, and here are the, 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 the more, the speedy ones, yeah, they overtaking me and they pulling me in this direction, yeah, and as long as it's not that critical, it is okay for me, yeah, I can walk in this direction because I want in this direction, I want to come to you. <laughs> and then at a certain point in time when there's really much difference, yeah, really much speed difference, I cannot hold it anymore and then I'm just whoa, drifting away and then I'm cutting the small ones or the, the, the not speedy ones and then, whoa, then suddenly there is chaos. Yeah? Suddenly, whoa, everything, the inner parts, the inner particles will, at a certain point in time, they will just break out. Yeah, they will just break out, and then they will disturb the other ones, and everything will break out, and we will have turbulence everywhere, and it's like mayhem, mayhem, mayhem. Yeah, everything chaos, nothing smooth and nice cozy things next to each other just turbulent 
Wow, going on. Just because we added, we gained too much speed in there. Yeah? Just because we caused the, our liquid particles to From up to here was okay, but now the load is too much. I cannot take it anymore. Disorder. <laughs> this type of stream is called turbulent. Yeah? Turbulent. Mm, some something. Yeah? Now guess what? Which type of stream do you guess? Yeah? Make an educated guess which of these two things yeah, might have the higher inner friction. Yeah? Where we ever lose more energy. Of course here. Yeah? Here's chaos. Chaos is never frictionless. Yeah? Here we have pretty ordered things. Yeah? So here we are, have a pattern, here the energy loss when flowing is rather small. Yeah? And here the energy loss is rather big. Okay, so these are the two things. Yeah? How can we now guess or know which type of, of, of flow I'm going to have in my, in my tube? There, the so-called Reynolds, Reynolds number is helping us. Yeah? So this Reynolds number, write it green, Reynolds number, RE, is calculated by the mean velocity, so not some highest velocity, but the middle velocity, yeah? multiplied by D, divided by nu. Yeah? What are the things? Yeah? Like I said, this is the middle velocity, so this is how, which velocity I have. Yeah? D is the diameter. The diameter of the tube. Yeah? This is measured in meters, of course. The middle velocity, this is measured in meters per second. Yeah? And this here is the viscosity. Yeah? This tells something if it's liquid or if it's not that liquid. Yeah? Here you can see the difference between water and honey. Yeah? Water is very liquid, honey is also liquid, but a little bit more... okay? A little bit more sticky. Yeah? A little bit more... more... träge. Yeah? It's just moving not too fast. It's not that liquid. Yeah? This is called viscosity. Yeah, the viscosity, this is square meters per second. Yeah, the kinematic viscosity. This number, if it's a small number, it's very liquid. If it's a big number, it's not that liquid. Yeah, it's sticky. Yeah, it's thicker. Yeah. So, small numbers, T, higher numbers, soup. Really high numbers, cream soup. <laughs> yeah. So this is the Reynolds number. Huh? This gives us a little bit idea what, what is inside there. And now there's the critical Reynolds number. Yeah. Our recrit. This is all good crit. And this is around 2300. If this number huh, you calculate here is reaching 2300, you have a very good chance that this is turbulent. Why I'm saying, saying chance? Yeah. You know, it's not a hard border. Say. 2301, turbulent. 299, 200, 299, lamina. <laughs> it's not that way. Yeah. There are even, there was even uh, laminar streamings were produced with Reynolds number to 100,000, yeah? but then you must be lucky. Yeah? If everything is new, smooth, there's no disturbance at all, yeah? then you might get lucky and 
this laminar streaming is kept on. Yeah? But then there is one little tiny yeah, butterfly effect. Yeah? And suddenly, it will, if we are above this 2300, we will switch to turbulent flow. Like I said, mayhem. Yeah? Then, if we are dropping below this critical value, yeah, it's not automatically already laminar. This just means that these turbulences will get less. Yeah? They will not disappear, they will get less. To really get back to nice laminar streaming, we have to really drop here to half, yeah? 1200, 1150, like this. Yeah? Then this turbulence, and then hmm, everything is smooth again. Yeah? This tells us the Reynolds number. If we are in turbulent mode or in laminar mode. Of course, we want to have laminar mode, yeah? because I want to get my energy from my pressure pump to my cylinder in my hydraulic system. Yeah? I do not waste my energy, I do not want to waste the energy somewhere inside my pipe. So this we could do. Mm -hmm. However, uh, in 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 the applications yeah, we do then to only look at this at these speeds here. Yeah? And there is an interesting thing, since the pressure is also have also influence on the viscosity and so on, uh, with higher pressure we can go at higher speeds. Okay? This means if our pressure line here has around 50 bars, yeah? 50 bar, we can go with speeds around 4 meters per second. If the system has not only 50 bar, but 100, yeah, then we can speed up to 4.5 meters per second. Yeah. If we have 150, yeah, we can have around 5 meters. If we have 200, yeah, we can have 5.5. If we have even 300, we can go up to 6 meters per second, yeah, speed of the liquid. If there's the suction line of the pump, yeah, so where the pump is sucking in the oil, there is not much pressure at all, even it's below the below the uh, ambient pressure, of course, yeah. So the suction line. We are at around 1.5 meters per second. Yeah? And that the return line. Yeah, we are around 2 meters per second. So this is the the usual speeds or the maximum speeds, the critical speeds, to prevent turbulent flow. Like I said, the higher the pressure, the higher the speed can go. The lower the pressure, the lower the speed must be to stay in lamina. Very critical the suction line, because here we are even below ambient pressure, and the return line, there is not much pressure inside, should not be much pressure inside. What is the return line? Uh, the return line, if, we, if I go with my oil to the cylinder, yeah, I have somehow get my oil back to the pump. And this somehow back to the pump, this is called return line. Yeah. This is streamings, these are different stream types. Yeah. And here we are. Yeah. Lamina is the choice. Yeah. Last time we talked here about those those things here yeah, that we increase here the the velocity. Yeah. This means I have a very good chance that at such narrow parts in my tube the streaming will change to turbulent. Yeah. This is getting smaller. This is getting higher. Yeah. So this and. This is the same, so we will switch to turbulence. Mm -hmm. So this is happening at nozzle points or something like this. Mm -hmm. We will see when we're talking about this. Mm -hmm. That's the two different streaming types. Yeah? 
Next time we're talking about the consequences of this. Yeah. Next time we're talking about uh, friction, yeah? friction losses inside our pipes. There we'll see lamina and turbulent difference. Yeah? For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.